Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm an osteopath and today I want to speak to you about how the profession of manual osteopathy was changed forever. I have a degree in business administration, I have an MBA and in that field there is a common saying that says go niche or go broke. I repeat it, go niche or go broke. That is what changed the profession of osteopathy forever. When I founded National Academy of Osteopathy in Toronto over 10 years ago in 2010, June 2010, osteopathy was a profession that helped many, many conditions from acute pain, chronic pain, and a whole sort of other disorders and conditions. And that's what the manual osteopaths at that time did. They treat everything. They were jack of all trades. This is good, but not so good. They, they wanted to help the majority of the people with as many things that the manual osteopathy profession helps. But to really become known, to really go up, to become successful in business and otherwise, you have to enter a niche market. That is how uh, marketing works. If you become very good in one small thing, you really grow in that field. I understood this because of my marketing background, so I applied that to osteopathic education. When I started, the, the only specialty program in osteopathy was sports osteopathy. Manual osteopaths specializing in sports injuries. But now I introduce a number of specialty programs that I will speak in other videos for you. But now I want to speak to you about osteopathic chronic pain specialists. This is a fellowship program we founded at National Academy of Osteopathy. As I mentioned, manual osteopaths did a lot of good things. They treated a lot of things, but uh, they were really, really effective in treating chronic pain. But nobody talked about it. It wasn't a well-known fact. I changed that. I started promoting that. I started to publicize the fact that osteopathy does wonders for treating chronic pain. I did that for a while, but then I decided to even go further. As I mentioned in September 2017, I founded this clinic. Then I, uh, before that, I set up that fellowship program at National Academy of Osteopathy. And now we became the main provider of manual osteopathic care in Canada. Our, this clinic, OCPCC, does more osteopathic treatment in Canada than any other clinic. And now many people know about, about uh, osteopathy's effectiveness in managing chronic pain. This is, this is what being in a niche market does. Being generalist is not good. Go niche or go broke. That's what I teach. All my business life, I always specialize in a niche market. The uh, fact that uh, manual osteopaths are now can become chronic pain specialists did just shock the system. Now everybody in Canada knows that you have a, a chronic pain, you see a manual osteopath. They are specialized in chronic pain management. We took over the uh, manual osteopathy market because of exactly because of this chronic pain management. Now, as I mentioned, all the treatment, most of the treatments in Canada provided uh, by manual osteopathy is by our graduates who are specialized in chronic pain management. This is how being a niche market does for a profession. So I recommend to you, do not be a generalist, uh, be, work in a niche market. Of course, uh, as I uh, teach in my lectures to my students, uh, it doesn't work in everywhere, depending on where you are. You, they must have, uh, you must have the enough population in area 
to go uh, to do that. I have a students who work in towns uh, with 2,000 population. Uh, that does not justify enough population for you to become specialized in something. So sometimes you need to be generalist, but if you work in, uh, in an area with enough population, being specialized in one area, it's in your benefit. It builds up your practice and you can get busier faster and you become good at treating your patients as well because that's all you you see that's all what you do and you get a word going out in your community as well that you are good for that thing that you do so it is something that, that changed the profession of manual osteopathy now you ask many people in canada what manual osteopaths do the first thing that they it comes in mind it is they're good in treating chronic pain that's what i wanted to do that's what i wanted people to know that we do miracles on a day-to-day -day basis we treat last resort cases you have a problem nobody else can treat come to see a manual osteopath we help you we are miracle workers in health professions and this is now this message got along because we focus in one niche market that's it for today uh, I found this place by chance today. I was driving around. Sometimes I dri uh, drive around just to think uh, about things. And I saw this uh, park uh, around Naples. I'm in Naples, Florida, where our university is located. And um, the, uh, this is a very strange park. It's very beautiful, but it's a park that is both for uh, horse riders and the and the public. I never saw a park that allows horses to come by. Yeah, so it's, it is interesting. It's very peaceful, and I didn't see anybody uh, so far. It's really really quiet. I love solitude. I go usually uh, every weekend to a, a, a solitary place without uh, where there are no human beings, no TV, no radio, uh, nothing, and I just uh, meditate and spend time by myself, and it just calms your mind and makes you feel so much better. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I love you all, wherever you are. Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy this fantastic, beautiful day. Until next time, bye for now.